the Auschwitz concentration camp is liberated on January 27, 1945, the whole world learns that millions have been murdered. Most of the murderers have vanished. But the victims are there to bear witness. I had been a uh, liberator of many concentration camps as a soldier in the American armies. I had seen the product of mass murder in Buchenwald, in Ebensee, in Mauthausen. Uh, I certainly was shocked by that experience. I was traumatized by that experience, which has not left me to this day. Pictures of the atrocities are seen all around the world. The same question is always asked. What kind of people could have done this to other human beings? Dachau. The rage is directed against young guards who had been left to hold the fort. The most important characteristic that I looked for was men of education and intelligence. I didn't want to have as a defendant some poor soldier that was ordered to go out and commit some criminal act and didn't realize what he was doing. Now come the excuses. My reasoning was that if they were educated men, uh, they would have been aware of the criminality and the magnitude of the crimes they were committing. Nuremberg, 1947. The leaders of the SS special squads are on trial. They are responsible for over a million deaths. I would have felt quite different about them if anyone had ever said he was sorry. They never said they were sorry, because they were not sorry. They were sorry they lost the war. In Landsberg prison, 14 death sentences are passed by the judges in the trial of the SS special squads. Four are carried out. None of those convicted show any remorse. One of them writes, Discipline and loyalty have brought me to the gallows. To this day, I still do not know how else I was supposed to have behaved. This was the tie which bound all of them. Opera singers, lawyers, economists, architects. Another thing they had in common, they were all prepared to commit mass murder for their ideals without any hesitation or any regret.